What is up you guys welcome back to the channel if you guys have not seen my last video I suggest you go watch it and see I believe it's this corner. I'll put a card um, So basically what had happened was my wheel fell off um, It damaged my braking my drum fell off um, I damaged the shoe and I don't know what else I damaged. I'm barely about to get into it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today I ordered a new drum ordered a new shoe uh, I'm gonna go pick up some new studs and I believe that's all I need for right now. Uh, I still haven't looked at it. I haven't inspected it. So hopefully that's all I need because that's all I have right now. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. That's what we're going to be doing today. First, I'm going to have to jack up the truck. It kind of sucks because I have to do it outside. I couldn't get the truck inside the garage. I have like no brakes at all right now. So I don't even want to try to roll it around. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. It's only three lugs. The rest fell off um and then i'm gonna jack up the truck and then take off the wheel and then inspect you guys can see i got the truck jacked up got a jack stand and then i put the jack on the tow hitch just as like backup because you can never be too safe when working on a truck and i don't want to drop it again i don't want it to fall that's the last thing i need right now that would suck i'm gonna go inside to get the keys real quick because i need to get the the crossbar. I need to get a breaker bar. That's what I need to get. But right now, I'm just going to work with the crossbar. And then take off the wheel. This is the damage that I was talking about. It's pretty bad. Or it looks bad. Hopefully, it's fixable. I think it is. And then this is somewhat bad. I don't know if it's just because this wheel was dirty and it just scratched off all the dirt. But in some places it is deep, like right here it's kind of deep. So what I did is I got this um, spring removed that went from here to this clip over here. Um, I just used this to remove it. I know that there's an actual tool, but as long as you use the tip you shouldn't uh, damage this. Now I'm going to remove this bracket right here. Put this off to the side. I did take a picture before I did this. Just to double check and make sure that everything goes back into place. Once I do it. And now I'm going to uh, press on this off to the side. Or push, put pressure on it and it's going to release this side. And I'm going to do the same on this side. It's going to release this side. And then this should come off. Honestly, I don't know what just happened, but it worked. That's exactly what was supposed to happen. This is getting replaced anyway, so it don't matter. And look how bad that is. Ooh, these haven't been replaced in ages. Put this off to the side. I want to keep this over here with the rest of this. What the? I don't know where this spring came from. Okay, let's figure this out. We ran into an issue. This spring is not supposed to be like that. So I can't get the, I don't know what it's called. I forgot the word for it. I can't get that through the spring. Cause it's supposed to easily just slide in and out. And as you can see, it gets caught there. Might have to just cut it. Probably not the right thing to do, but I mean, I'm replacing it, so. And the other one has it already, so. It only makes sense to cut it, but what do I cut it with? That's a good question. I'm going to try to figure this out. Okay, so today I didn't get as far as I wanted to. Uh, just because right now I have work. So I have to. I kind of just put it all together back kind of like half ass. I'm going to leave all this off. I'm going to work on it. And I did figure out why it was leaking brake fluid. I found this in the middle of the street, and I wasn't sure if it was mine. And I just found out that this spring came out from in here. And then this goes in there. So that's why it was leaking brake fluid. As soon as I plug that up, get that all figured out, I should be able to bleed the brakes because the brakes are non-existent right now. And it should fix that whole issue. I do have the replacement inside already along with the new drum. And I'm going to paint it red to match the other side because as you guys know on my brakes are painted red as you can tell by the hub too and then 
get the new studs because I am not running these again. And it should be all good. I'm going to pick this video up on Saturday. Today's Thursday. I have school tomorrow and work. So I'm not going to be able to do anything until Saturday morning. So I'll see you guys Saturday morning. What is up you guys? It is now Friday. It's Friday night. I want to get this thing already to the shop. So I'm going to start working on it right now. Um, I did get it inside the garage because it's getting cold and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I decided to bring it in. Probably one of the sketchiest things I've ever done because one, the brakes don't work. They're complete shit. Second, the wheel, since it doesn't have the drum and the wheels are all messed up and not like sitting flat on the hub, it was kind of like waving in and out and the studs wouldn't tighten all the way because uh, they're kind of stripped. So that was probably one of the like sketchiest things I've done. Um, but now I got it inside safely. I'm gonna try to bust out the brakes on this side. I did uh, with what I got, it came with the other side too, so I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna order the, I already ordered the drum for the other side too, so I'm gonna just do the full brakes in the back. Um, I found out where it was leaking also, so I'm gonna fix that, and then I'm gonna bleed the brakes tomorrow, cause right now every place is closed. And I did get some OEM brakes. Just because I feel like those are better quality. I don't know. I never tried any anything else. Besides. Okay, so I finally got that off. Uh, I had to cut this spring. Because look how bent it was. Oh, it's not focusing. That's how it was. So I had to cut it off from the actual brake. But it's perfectly fine because this one comes with all that. Uh, now I'm going to take out the studs. Uh, just because I have to put on the new ones tomorrow anyways. When I go pick them up. So I'm going to take them out. I'm going to show you my method. I don't know if there's any other methods, but this is my method. Um, and then I'm probably going to continue this video. This is going to be like a three-day video, maybe four. I don't know if you, could, if you guys are going to be able to see this on camera, but... Maybe like that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is pretty crooked. Probably can't see it as much. That seems to be like the only crooked one out of the four that I have still. Oh wait, the other two are in the bed. Um, I got the, finally I got the, the studs out. And next thing is we're putting the brakes back on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna Put this back in. I don't know if it's damaged. It looks perfectly fine. I'm pretty sure this spring came in from in here. I'm hoping. Seems like it. I don't know how this goes in. Like, do you just press it in? Because this is where the brake fluid is leaking from. It looks like I'm just gonna order another brake reservoir thing. I might go pick it up tomorrow. Um, so I don't know how far I can get. I'm Maybe you could get away with just doing the brakes because this just comes out straight. And I would just have to put the new ones and then bleed the brakes. Um, so I'm going to try to work on the brakes right now. I'm going to leave that and then the studs and then this tomorrow is all I need to do. And hopefully I have it done by Monday. Because Monday is when I want to set an appointment so I can see how much the body shop is going to end up charging me to repair that damage. Hopefully have it back on the road soon. And I can start doing what I have planned for it. It's the next day now. I got the reservoir. And I got all six studs. We're going to finish putting on the brakes. We're going to take out the reservoir first though. And see if we can finish it hopefully today. So right now, I'm going to take off the reservoir. You need to use a wrench to take off the... Where the fluid goes into the reservoir. And then you got to remove these two bolts right here. So the reservoir could come out. Um, it is going to leak a little bit. So you could just have like a little drain pan under it. Just so it doesn't leak onto the floor. And make a mess. And then I'm going to show you guys how to bleed it. Or how I saw to bleed it. Bleed it by Chris Fix. So as you guys can see, I have my replacement. It's nice. 
And this is exactly how it's gonna go. It came with the new, um, kind of just to keep the debris out where you bleed it. Um, I might just throw on the other one and then keep this one for extra. And then this is where, uh, this is gonna go into. So you kind of have, not necessarily do it fast, but it helps to, uh, to avoid making a big mess. Like I said, it's pretty sure it's gonna leak. I'm gonna tighten it as far as I can. And then. Just like that, you got the old one off. You don't want to put this one on. Probably doesn't have that much brake fluid just because most of it dripped out that night. What you have to do is tighten back this, the wire where the brake fluid comes out of, and then um, tighten those two bolts, and then you should be good to go with the reservoir. That's basically all you have to do bef besides bleeding it, but that doesn't come until after you're done installing all your, like, your complete brake system. Honestly, I got irritated, and my camera died, and I was just frustrated. I was just trying to finish. We're getting the studs on. Pretty sure this is the right way, but I got, a wa I got two washers and then the drum that's messed up on. And I'm just tightening them. As you can see, they're... We've done that one and it's sitting flush. So right now I'm just gonna do all the other five and then I'm gonna bleed the brakes and then throw on the wheel and then see how the brakes feel. To give a better explanation because I didn't explain what I was doing. So basically what I did was bought two washers I put the lug nut on the outside of it. I put them over this, the stud. And then I did this, and then I tightened it with the, with this, and then tightened it with this, just to get the stud pushed through the hub, so it's sitting flush on the back of the hub. Now that they're completely installed, um, all I have to do is throw on the new drum. And then make sure I get the brakes tight enough with the adjuster. And then bleed the brakes. I should be good to throw on the wheel and drop it. I can't drive on it yet though. Because I don't know if you guys remember. I this got pretty messed up. That's supposed to be all flush. I don't know if you could drive on that or if it will throw it off of balance. But I need an tire anyways, so I have to order that and go get this fixed. So, it's still going to be maybe a few more days for the tire to come in and then for them to fix that. And I have to go to the body shop, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. But that's what's next on repairing the truck. I got the new drum set up on it. This is how it looks. These actually look really nice, brand new. Comment down. In the section or in the comment section, if I should paint these red or if I should just leave them like this, I actually think it looks better like this. All right, so we got the truck back down. Um, just gonna fill up the brake fluid and I made sure I tighten the lug. But I got the truck down. Next, I just need to fix this wheel, the back of it, like I said, and I showed you guys. I need a new tire, and then we could get it to the body shop. All the brake stuff should be done. I just have to do the other side, but you guys already saw how I did it. This probably isn't the best tutorial, so if you guys are trying to learn how to do your brakes, don't watch this as other videos for that. Um, this is just kind of show you guys what I had to repair and what I had to order. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know if you guys want to see the rest of the progress of fixing all this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.